Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Linear Algebra Tutor. Here we're going to continue working with vectors in terms of linear algebra, and we're going to learn about the concept of a unit vector in the direction of any vector that we choose. So uh, before we get into it, I, I guarantee I'll draw a picture on the board, it'll be 100% crystal clear, but let me lead you up to that point. The concept of a unit vector, everyone watching this has probably taken a physics course at some point in the past or, or where we have at least introduced the concept of a unit vector. All right, so in the past, we've talked about a unit vector being just a vector that has a length of one. That's why it's called a unit vector, unit mean, meaning one. Um, and it, it really can point in any direction that you want, but traditionally when we talk about vectors, we talk about the uh, important unit vectors i, j, and k. Those are the vectors that point along the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. And we need them because we're trying to show where this vector, whatever vector we're trying to, to uh, represent, where it's pointed. So we say how many units in the x-direction or the i-hat direction, the unit vector in the i-direction, the, the x-direction, how many units in the y-direction, how many units in the z-direction. So we invent this concept of a unit vector, which is a length 1 pointed along the coordinate axes. All right, so if I had to write that down, it would be called unit vector. The definition of a unit vector is just a vector with length of one. That's all a unit vector is. Now the unit vectors that we have been exposed to up until now in math is traditionally the i hat unit vector, the j hat unit vector and the k hat unit vector. And remember, I can draw an x, y, z axis and I can show you that i hat points along x, j hat points along y, k hat points along z. We need those to uh, write down our Cartesian representation of a vector. But don't forget that those are just unit vectors and the general definition for a unit vector is any vector that just points in whatever direction with a length of one. So frequently, if I'm given a vector, like maybe I have a vector A pointed off in that direction, it has a length, I don't know, maybe if it's a force vector, it could be 15 newtons pointed that direction. And from that vector, I want to calculate what a a, a, a unit vector would be that points in the direction of my vector A. All right, So that's perfectly consistent with this definition because a unit vector can point really in any direction you want, um, but it just has to have a length of 1. All right, So if I have, let me switch over to purple here, if I have a vector A, right, and we know that vector A may point in space any, any, any which way any which direction that we want. And from the vector A, let's say we wish to find what a vector 